Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. So, Peter, winter wheat fertility. You know, lots of things to talk about from, uh, you know, placement, rates, um, split applications. What, from your perspective, um, are things that producers should be putting at the top of their list? Yeah, so right now we're talking about seeding time. So let's about forget about split apps and all that kind of stuff. And let's just focus on get the crop in the ground this fall with the highest possible yield potential. So we can talk about nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, and maybe sulfur, because sulfur is a big issue in many areas, including Western Canada, Ontario now sulfur is an issue. And then all the micros, so the mag magnesiums and the manganeses and all those. Let's start there. First off. All those micros, it's all a bunch of bull. The only one that makes any difference, at least in Ontario conditions, is manganese, and it's really tough to correct it in the soil. So putting some micros with your liquid fertilizer, trying to do it that way, eh, you're spinning your wheels. It really rarely is good money invested. You're better off to do it next spring. Let's talk next about nitrogen, because every year I get this question, what about some fall nitrogen to stimulate that growth? Well, the growers, or pardon me, the agronomists that ask or recommend that drive me nuts because they have zero data. We've done the trials, we have the data. In Ontario conditions, we simply lose half of that nitrogen and we've never been able to increase our yields by adding nitrogen in the fall. So why not save the money and spend it on something that will increase my yield? So I'm out on fall nitrogen. Next, I want to talk about potash because that's another really interesting one. And I always figured, you know, potash is important. Well, it is on wheat, but not in the fall and not as a starter fertilizer. So if you have a really low soil test, you want to add a wee little bit of potash, that's okay. Maintaining your soil potash level at good levels is incredibly important. Don't argue about that. But if you don't use any potash in the fall, you know what? It won't hurt you one bit. So I've sort of thrown out nitrogen, I've thrown out potash, I've thrown out all the micros. What does that leave? leaves phosphorus and that's where it's all about it's all about phosphorus and so you need to put phosphorus on and it's best put right with the seed so i want to see at least 50 pounds of map i like 100 pounds better 100 pounds of map is 50 pounds of phosphorus you can do that with liquid as well i had an excellent discussion with a top wheat grower in lambton county two nights ago wednesday night and he clearly said that in his conditions he's done the trials nine gallons of liquid starter fertilizer gives him more yield than five gallons of liquid starter fertilizer so you can do it with liquid it just takes a lot of dollars to do it because liquid is a little bit more expensive i like dry better from that standpoint and i like seed placed why do i like seed placed well let's have a look at that so i come out into this field and i broadcast my fertilizer and i get a granule here and a granule here and a granule here and here and here and even if i work them in then i take my wheat and i plant that in a row and i put my seed down there that one inch deep well where's my fertilizer yeah, well, it's spread all over the place. And what are the chances that that wheat seed and that root coming out of the wheat seed is going to intercept a granule of that phosphorus? Because that's what it needs to do to get good utilization. Yeah, the chance is not very good. If I put that same fertilizer right there with the seed, what's the chance my seed will find it and be able to utilize it? And the answer is a way better. So in our research data, Seed placed fertilizer is four times more efficient than broadcast fertilizer. The other thing about broadcast fertilizer is if I put it on the soil surface in a no-till situation, which is the way we plant most of our wheat and it works really, really well, well, fall phosphorus on the soil surface and then we get a thunderstorm or a, a, a heavy rainstorm. Where does that phosphorus go? Well, it's soluble or it, it wouldn't actually work for the plant. That means there's a decent chance it ends up in the water and it moves into the water course. It's bad for the environment and it also doesn't help me make any money. So from both of those perspectives, really want to see you put that stuff in furrow and make the most out of that phosphorus fertilizer. Really intriguing, it's a seven bushel yield increase if you put that stuff in furrow. I can't make you that with any other fall fertilizer. All about phosphorus and make sure you do it. Mm -hmm. 